There they are. CIA mercs. Snake, you've got to get past them undetected. Avoid combat whenever possible. This is a sneaking mission. Hide behind stuff. Take the long way around. Whatever it takes to stay out of sight. Your gun is a last resort. It could just as easily kill you as save you. The indicator in the upper right serves as a compass and shows sound sources. Pay attention to your surroundings. The percentage in the upper right is your camo index. The lower the number, the more easily you'll be spotted. Conspicuous movements and loud noises will compromise your camo index. Your fatigues will act as camouflage. Keep your eye on what's left of your life gauge on the left of the screen. To the right of that, you'll see your sight gauge. Exhausting it will inhibit your actions. Your life gauge will recover with time. The sight gauge, too. You'll recover faster crouching than standing up. Lying flat works even better. Looks like you're inside the compound. Security is tight. Stay sharp. Yes, sir, we broke them. We acquired the whereabouts of target 500. Acknowledged. Spears are loaded. The barge is cleared Port Bravo. Acknowledged. Al. In the mountains! What's up there?
Kaz, can you hear me? Loud and clear. You found a radio. It's got a circuit that reverses the audio phase. Let's switch frequencies from time to time, just to make sure we're not detected. I found a map of their bases. The cargo's heading from the marshes west towards Irasu. Nice going, boss. Kaz, this place is full of film badges. Dozens of them. Film badges? Like the ones used to measure radiation exposure? Uh, the radio man was wearing one. And whoever he was talking to called the cargo Spears. Wait, that would mean... Nukes. They're bringing nukes into Costa Rica. Holy Mother of God. How's that map, Snake? Think you can use it? Uh, it tells me where their bases are, but it's just a bunch of points. No routes. I need better intel on the lay of the land. Snake, the professor said he's got the Sandinistas on his side. Said you should get in touch with the FSLN Commandante. Hmm. Do they know they're backed by the KGB? Nah. As far as they know, they're really fighting for the revolution. The KGB is staying behind the scenes. I'm not sure the Sandinistas are aware of what's really going on. Still can't believe anybody would bring nukes here. Yeah, that's a shocker. Costa Rica's party to the Tlatel Loco Treaty, which declares Latin America a nuke-free zone. Based on Japan's three non-nuclear principles, it bans the testing, use, import, or deployment of nuclear weapons. If word of this gets out, Opinol will be forced to act. It'll cause an international uproar. The treaty was signed to prevent another Cuban Missile Crisis. If the U.S. itself is gonna scrap it, Latin America is too close to spawning another Cuba or two already. The entire continent would become one big powder keg. Well, if they did bring nukes, we can't let them get away with it. Are they planning a test? Showing off? Or is it all to keep the anti-American movement in check? Good question. Why bring them here? I can't figure it out. Whatever the CIA's up to in Costa Rica, the professor wants it stopped. We need to find out what that something is. We need to get ready first, Kaz. Repairs? Working as fast as we can, boss. This place is pretty beat. It looks like hell. But as long as you're with us, we'll make it heaven. No one can bother us here. No state telling us what to do. This is the MSF's haven, our mother base. And with this foothold, we'll back you up even better than before. We're gonna turn this pile of junk into something big. <laughs> 